Paul, it's me. Where are you? We'll get out of there and get the lads together. All of them. All of them. Charlie, all, yeah, all of them. Get them all together. Because I've had a fucking bad night. Not time somebody else did. Bring the other thing as well. You know what I'm talking about. I'm not going to say over the phone. All right. I'll meet you in half an hour. Got a few scrubbers with them. Give us it. Are you sure? Give us it! Come on. You ready? Yeah. Answer me, are you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Where's soft ass? He's in the car. Keep an eye on him. I do not want him fucking things up. Shit! It's fucking locked! It's all right. John's got a key.
I want you to stop slapping people around. Eh? And causing trouble for your little fame of fucking rats! You're out as the yard, man. Not you. Yeah, you don't. A spare old pack of then just watch that thing, will you? No. No, it's too late, Tony. I don't give a shit about you. <gasps> oh, you're out, fella. <laughs> <laughs> Mark. Can I come in? Yeah, yeah, come up. Didn't you call into the office first thing in the morning? It's nearly midnight. I know, I know, I'm sorry. I was in bed. I mean, what in your life could possibly be important enough to wake me up? I just needed somewhere to think. Mark, people don't pop round to their solicitors in the middle of the night just to think. What's happened? Police been knocking on your door again? It's not just a legal problem this time, Stacey. Take him back to where you found him. Don't worry, Mr. Hansi. We'll find Clayton. What the bleeding hell are you doing? I'm taking me ladro, Charlie. I am not leaving this house without me ladro. Fuck your ladros. Jesus Christ, I don't believe this. I tell you to pack the essentials so you're sticking your shopping ornaments in. Look at my new babies. Kath, Kath, Kath. We're going to Spain, love. They sell them in the bleeding fruit shops over there. I'll get you some more. I'll get you as many as you want. Just hurry the fuck up! All right. But I'm keeping this one. It was a wedding present. Oh, come on, hurry up, for Christ's sake! You picked a hell of a night to come visiting. Well, I've been up late these past few weeks working yeah, on a difficult case. The body of 26-year-old Mr. Billy Hannessy was discovered just a few hours ago in the function suite of the pub. The police were alerted to the scene by local people who say they heard the sound of gunshot. And indeed tonight, detectives are saying that Mr. Hannessy was killed by a single shot to the head. They say it's too early to establish a motive for the killing, but they are refusing to rule out gang warfare. <laughs> Will you hurry up? All right, I'm coming. I've got to cancel the milk. I'll fucking cancel you in a minute. Where's Clayton? Get in! I suppose talking to the police isn't an option. <laughs> What do you think? What do I think? I think you're up to your neck in it and you're not giving me the full story. Have you any idea of the position you're putting me in? I'm sorry. Yeah, well, sorry isn't good enough. You, you can't stay here. Look, Stacey, I know I shouldn't have come here, but you are the only person I can trust right now. Just give me enough time to try and sort this thing out my way. OK, this is the deal. You can try and sort things out your way, OK? But if you can't, then you do it my way, the right way. You tell me everything, and I defend you.
Where's Clayton? <coughs> so, what do you want to listen to while we wait for things to be sorted out your way? Your choice. Okay, so what do we got? Um, oh, the police. Uh, oh no, here's the one. Fun loving criminals. You don't get it, do you? Uh, no, I don't. Actually, I don't get a lot of things. I mean, how did you end up in this position? I mean, did you suddenly wake up one morning and decide to be a gangster? Don't be stupid. No, I'm serious. I'd like to know. It was Anne Casey's fault. Who's Anne Casey? The girl I used to go out with. She didn't want to go to pictures. What, and that led to a life of crime? You wanted to know. And come on! Now I'm going out, all right, the hurry check. What are you doing? I don't know why I did it. Run the fucking way! Maybe it was just a reflex. He didn't mess with Kenny Gallon. He didn't even look at Kenny Gallon. You are fucking dead! You are fucking dead! I just got him nicked. He was an all out nasty bastard. He put the word out that he was going to ribbon me, cut me to pieces, and took it very seriously. It was like a walking toolbox. If he was going to get me, I was going to make sure he worked for it. <laughs> What's he doing here? He never comes in here. So we bar from everywhere else. I think he recognised you. Sticking out to find out, though. Oh, come on. Let's go somewhere else. No, 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 you stay here. Don't come see me, but you too. It's not your problem. I'm going home. Maybe that's where it really started. The wrong face at the wrong time. Four years. I tried to defend myself and end up getting four years. I was in a daze. I kept expecting someone to come up to me and say there'd been a mistake and I could go home. But they didn't. Nothing could have prepared me for this. Here you go. All right. Take your fucking gear off my bed. What? I said, take your fucking gear off my bed. That's my bed. That's yours. I don't give a fuck who you are, what your name is, what you're in here for, or what you're getting for fucking Christmas. Just stay out of my way and off my bunk, or I'll fucking kill you. Simple as that. Don't talk to me. Don't even fucking look at me. I spent the first couple of days convinced that someone was going to knife me. Just take an instant dislike and kill me. What was I doing in here? This wasn't me. I've never been in trouble in my life. But there I was, scared and on my own. Mind that, mate. You what? If I want your apple, I'll just take it. All right? Just keep your fucking mouth shut. Shut the fuck up, will you? I'm trying to get some chip! Fucking wankers. Every fucking night, these fucking pricks. What? Hey. What's up? Never seen press ups before.
you exercise? No. You should. Good for the soul. How long have you been in here? Two weeks. You're the first person who's spoken to me without actually threatening me. Well, things are looking up then. Murray. I'm Mark. Clayton. Mark Clayton. I know. How? Knowledge is power, Mark. Especially in here. And I don't have much of either at the moment. Well, that's your choice, Mark. There's only one person who can get you through the jug, and that's yourself. Don't trust anyone. You included? Anyone. There's not a man in here who wouldn't take the eyes out of your head, given half the chance. The only reason I'm talking to you now is because of what you did to get in here. You don't like the police, then? If you did a bus conductor or a postman, they'd have given you community service and a fine, but you didn't, did you? You did the unthinkable. You hit one of the boys, one of the chosen few, and you can't do that. Once the old funny handshake brigade closed ranks, you're in the shit. Yeah. There's certain things you have to know to survive in prison, Mark. I'll take that apple. Oh, it's nothing to be ashamed of, Mark. You've got to learn how to deal with situations like that. How? By sticking up for yourself. By showing them that you're willing to fight for what you've got. You're on the bottom bunk, right? Yeah. Well, when you get to the top bunk, you'll know you're winning. So how'd you get a single? Takes time. Canteen goes to me. Give me Regal or Benson. What do you want, Dad? You're not going to enjoy that. Why not? yourself as a bit of a hard cut, do you? No, don't answer me back, lad. Look straight ahead when I'm talking to you. Just because you crack some nomad doesn't mean you can start taking liberties, right? All right, yes, sir. Just watch your step, Clayton, or you'll be going down the seg, and you will fucking know about it. Do I make myself clear? Yes, sir. No more messing, sir. I'm just finding my feet in here, sir. Good. Now get back in your cage. And don't make a fucking mess in here. I've just cleaned up. You can shut up and all. Better than the bottom. Rolf, flush. Read him and weep. Well, you figure that out? There's no fucking queen. Well, there were a minute ago, he stole me queen. Full of fees, this place. You, that's who. Legally, it's not theft. She is a queen. Bastard. So it's kidnapping. Whatever. Now, Mario, as a former kidnap victim myself, I find that kind of tactic highly dubious. You? Kidnapping? You kept that one quiet. Yeah, well. Well, come on, then. Spill the beans. Well, the Queen gets it. <laughs> I 
was walking down the street one day, minding my own business, and this van pulled in behind me. Get in the van now! Just get in the friggin' van! So I'm sitting there, wondering who I could have pissed off big enough to do this. I'm convinced I'm going to end up supporting a stretch of the M62. So you've got your mask then? Me? How much? I don't know. A naked each. Stop going on about it, will you? 35 quid this cost. I know, you said. You flooded the engine. Get what you paid for, though, I suppose, eh? Yours just got a piece of elastic at the back. Yeah. See, this one goes right the way round. It's got a concealed zip at the side. Goes right down to my chest. It's supposed to be the devil. Piss off. You think this is real here? All right, Prince of Darkness. Give it a rest, will you? And you end up in this shitty flat somewhere, tied up. Well, it seems it wasn't me they were after at all, it was my brother James. Mm. Apparently, he shafted him out of 15 grand worth of weed. Now, what they were going to do is they were going to contact him and tell him that unless they got the money back, I was going to get it big time. Tortured and God knows what else. <laughs> Well, our James had some big decisions to make. So did I. I'll have special fried rice with a portion of chips and a carton of curry. Anything else, Mr Clifton? Um, spring rolls. As long as they're not too greasy. But it's like being kidnapped by the fucking Samaritans. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it must have been terrified to upset me in case I got revenge. It was bloody marvellous. <laughs> by the end of the second day, my hands were untied and I had them putting bets on for me. And at night we all got stoned. Five days I was there, it was fucking bliss. And then I remembered, I had this hot tip for a night meeting in Southern. I had this tip for about a fortnight. Big grey mare called Nighttime Dancer, 15 to 1 she was in the paper. Well, the lads had gone out and they weren't back yet and I had like 20 minutes to put the bet on. So I had to escape. Now, they weren't soft, these boys. I mean, they'd locked the front door. So if I was going to get this bet on, I had to get the 30 or so feet to the back door. <laughs> <laughs> and that was it. That was the end of my kidnapping nightmare. Nighttime dancer, one by ten lengths, and I was back home for a tearful reunion with the missus. You must have been glad to get home, though. What, well, you're joking, aren't you? I tried to get back in, I couldn't find where the fucking flat was. <laughs> <laughs> I'd never been treated so well in all my life. I must be the only hostage in history. <laughs> to end his incarceration, half a stone heavier, <laughs> and with a winning bet in back pocket worth 220 quid. Did you sort them out when you got back? No. And they're just, just a bunch of stupid kids who got their fingers burnt. <laughs> Give our James a good hand in them. What happened to them? Well, the last I heard, I think they'd opened a bed and breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 they got out of kidnapping and they got into drugs. <laughs> They're probably fucking millionaires by now. That's where their money is these days, isn't it? It's blind ambition for you. It can make you very wealthy. Yeah. And get you killed as well. <laughs> fucking hell. Who's that? Honey Bowers. Flip. Exactly. What the fuck they bring him here for? Who is he? Axe murderers have nightmares about Ali Bowers. He's got no friends, he doesn't want any. Every time they let him out, he comes straight back in. You see, to him prison, he's just a free brothel. I think my ass has gone numb. <laughs> it will if he gets old, yeah? Oh, that big poor bastard he's banged up with. So 
What are you called, Muddy? Uh, he's just gone for a piss. Who are you? I'm Ozzy. My uncle told me to find Muddy. Oh, yeah. Owes him money, does he? No, no, nothing like that. My uncle's a mate of his, said he'd look after me in here, you know, keep an eye out. Oh, really? What's your uncle's name, then? Harry, Harry Webster. H? You H's nephew? <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Murray. You're Murray? Thought he'd gone for a piss? Yeah, he did. But I come back. See, you can't be too careful who you speak to in here, son. To tell you the truth, I haven't paid me TV license. All right. Sit down, son. So how'd you get a telly in here, then? That was Ozzy. Never was too bright. But he was a fucking good laugh. Be careful with that, lad. That's not just a spud, it's a Maddox Piper. Oh, fucking hell. What are you doing, you idle scouse wanker? Would you do that at home? Do what? Spit on your mother's best cook and utensils. No, I wouldn't. Oh, well, thank the gods. Finally met a scouser with more intellect than attitude. I don't do the dishes at home, my ma does them. Oh, fucking hell, Rabbo! He didn't give a shit about anything. He did what he wanted and fucked the consequences. Just asked the mayor's wife about the day she met me, Ozzy, and his little brother. Dick. Oh, my God! You oh, dirty death! For Christ's sake! Put it away, Ozzy! Sorry. For it now, lad! <laughs> they made him pay for it, though. Big time. Get out of here with that. I've got to do something. Well, salty. You better think of something quick. Look at me. Look at me. Keep it together. All right? Ozzy was losing it. I'd promised to help him, but I didn't know how. Every time that cell door locked, he slipped further away. He didn't deserve that. Nobody deserves that. Day by day, he was changing. So was I. Nice one, Ozzy. Keep it up, lad. You can come back next year. No, they're too big, then. Make them smaller. Hey, dickhead.
He never thanked me for that. But why should he? We were mates. So who's the fucking genius who worked that one out? Well, we had to do something. Why don't you come to me? Would you have done it any differently? I couldn't have done it any fucking worse. You made a pig's ear of it, Mark. And for what? Some fucking kid who can't get his head down and do his bird. He's got nobody else. Somebody's got to look out for him. And you look out for yourself. You helped me when I first came inside. That was different. Why? Because you've got that. He hasn't. He's a fucking liability. Well, don't worry about it. It's sorted now. Really? All you've done is put Bowers in the hospital wing for a few days. Yeah, and then we'll ship him out. Straight back here. Straight back onto the wing. All fired up for a cosy little threesome with you and your stupid fucking mate once he gets out of segregation. Tits on her. Yeah, legalised porn, this is. <laughs> Planning for the future? Yeah. Well, I'll be getting out of here at some point. And when I do, I don't fancy standing around for 12 months waiting for an interview at Burger King. Burger King? <laughs> You'll be lucky if you get there. I've got all levels. Yeah, and a criminal record. You have a degree in rocket size, it'll make a blinding bit of difference. Don't listen to him. You're doing the right thing. Anyway, Flipper's getting out next week. He'll give you a position in his business empire. Yeah, well, no offence to Flipper, but I can't exactly see myself standing outside the football ground selling hot dogs. Oh, he sells hamburgers as well. Nah, believe me, ain't as easy getting a job on the out as you think. Oh, yeah, who made you career's advisor? Listen to this genius, you'll end up straight back in here. Look, Mark, I ain't trying to put the mockers on it. I just know what it's like out there, all right? So what the fuck do we do? Anything you can to pay the rent. Look, if you get stuck for a bit of cash in the end, give this fellow a ring. You might better throw something your way. Thank you, ladies. Five o'clock, I'll be giving a talk on the joys of the segregation unit. He ain't learned a fucking thing, has he? Can't believe me, look. Ten days in seg and loss of privileges for three weeks. What a touch. Yeah, it might not be over yet, though. Look, if Bowers comes back on the wing, and if he wants to carry on fucking around with us, then we'll just do him again. Not as simple as it sounds. Yes, it is. He's got no backup. Everyone hates him. Hey, lighten up a bit. You weren't talking like this before. We don't know the first thing about Bowers. Murray was telling me... Oh, that's it, Murray. Thought he'd be behind this. Mr. Ben there done it. Fuck, Murray. All I'm saying is we need to watch out. Yeah, whatever. Like Murray said, Bowers got shipped straight back onto the wing. Not that Ozzy gave a toss. If the truth be known, I think he got a kick out of it. And what did Bowers do? Fuck all. Go on, you're on. Go on, lad. Mm -hmm. On your way. Straight out of here, right? You go straight down to the nearest pub and you get a drink in for all of us, all right? I mean it. Not looking like this. Look at me, here. Oh, come on, Flip. Everyone goes out looking like a boiled egg. No thanks to you. You can all 
He's a tow rag. He's not worth it. He's no better. I tried to do what Murray said and put prison behind me. But Mario was right. Getting a job with a criminal record was about as easy as finding rock and horse shit. If the system was gonna fuck me, then fuck the system. McCann wasn't your typical crook. He was more string fellow than good fella. Couldn't read or write, but could spell Versace. Not that. What do you want? Mario gave me a number. He said he might be able to give me some work on the outside. Mario? What can I do for you? Well, I'll do anything for you, really. I just need to pay some bills, you know? Get that off. I'm taking you to the Adelphi, not the fucking Grafton. Get it off. Well, I can't mix business with pleasure. So if you come round tomorrow, about half three, I might be able to sort you out. Thanks. What have you done? Have you got your fucking contact lenses in? You're picking a load of shit here. Get that off. We can't have a problem he wanted me to help him with. I lied and said I could. But if I had any chance of pulling it off, I was going to need some help. I'm looking for Ozzy Shepherd. Does he drink in here? Never heard of him. What's he want him for? Well, it doesn't matter, does it, if you've never heard of him? Look after the bar, Ollie. <sighs> what did I say, dickhead? Wait till I get under it. I thought you were under it. How can I be under it if I'm in the van? I don't believe this. You don't believe it? 15 miles we brought this and we couldn't even manage the last 20 fucking feet. Well, it might still work, mightn't it? You saw it smashed, didn't you? Hey, there's a mush at the bar asking for you, Oz. Tell him I'm busy, H. Too busy for an hour, mate. You fucking beauty! Oh, I don't believe it! When did you get out? Last month. So what are you now, one arm bandit bandit? Come on, let's go and have a bevy. I'll introduce you to the lads. You like them. They're loyal. Stupid, but loyal. I hate that. So do I. Hey, what about the fruit machine? You promised me a fruit machine. And there it is. There'll be a few quid in there. Some lad was playing it when we took it. <laughs> so? So, get the money out and go and buy a new one, tight ass. Come here, <laughs> boys. Hey, 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 you... You can't leave me with this here. I'm oh, lucky, H. You can't leave me with... Anyway, that's enough of that. Let's move on to today, and we've got another... Oh, that's shite. Right, so that was the crew. John, Charlie, Paul, Ozzy and me. Not much of a crew, but the only one I had. Besides, it's not the dog in the fight. It's the fight in the dog. Good morning, this is Kev Seed for breakfast on Radio City 96. A thousand tablets. Fuck me, they'll take some shifting. 
What's in it for us, Mark? What can we get out of this? I'm not sure, but it's a start. We'll be making contacts and we'll want to cut. There's a foot on the door, isn't it? He said something about a housing estate. Who? This lad. He said the coppers were doing a surveillance on the estate, and none of the dealers would get in there or they'll get nicked. He said it was like a, a drought. They were desperate for tablets. Sounds dodgy to me. Surveillance? How are we going to get shut of that many without getting sussed? I spy with my little eye, something beginning with I. Interior light? No. Interior mirror? No. Interior mirror? It's an interior mirror. That? It's a rear view mirror. Well, I call it an interior mirror. Is it I? That's what it begins with, yeah. Well, that's not the answer. I. No. Right. I begins with E. I thought it was a trick question. Can we just leave it now, please? I'm getting a headache. It was ice cream fan, anyway. Where? Coming out the road behind us. How'd you see that? In the rear view mirror. I told you it was a rear view mirror. Get down, Lossie. Sorry, lads. The brakes are a bit sensitive. No kidding. I'm nearly going pale than a flake. What about the filth, Charlie? I think that's them sitting off over there. Right then. So we all make up the message, Paul. Yes, mate. Can I have an ice cream? In a cone? No, in a jug. That's all you want? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Have you used an ice cream machine before? No. Well, it can't be that hard, can it? Can I have a cone, please? Do you want anything else with that? Oh, yeah, yeah. How much? Ten each. What are they? Crazy cones. <laughs> nice one. Give us 20. <laughs> so get the ice cream for nothing. Do your shite. 80 pence. Strawberry split. Five of them crazy cones, please. Don't know. We could just get off. We've almost shifted them. Let's just be it, Mark, before he gets here. No. Just wait. Ah, oh, he's definitely coming over to us. Oh, bollocks. Yes, mate. Been here quite a while. Yeah. A big queue. Yeah. Must yeah. be very popular. Yeah, very popular. Okay, then. Time for the big question. Really? Yeah. Do you do oyster shells? Oyster shells? Yeah. Only some don't. I spent 15 minutes convincing my colleagues to beat cones hands down. Do we do oyster shells, Harry? Uh, yeah, yes, we do, though, yeah. Yeah. Oh, great stuff. I'll have four, please. Right, four. Listen, uh, I don't seem to have any money on me. We take this. I think you'll find it's accepted in most countries in the world. You mean you're not going to pay for four oyster shells? Well, we could always come to some sort of arrangement. Like what? Like you give me the oyster shells, and I won't check the tread on your tyres. Sounds fair to me, Roy.
Yeah, all right. While you're at it, give us the works. You know, hundreds and thousands, raspberry sauce, chopped nuts, a flake, the works. You've got it. the works. You'll get the fucking works. <laughs> <laughs> hey, go on. Don't be shy with that sauce now. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, fellas. Hey, keep the chain. <laughs> <laughs> To the fame. To the fame. To the fame. One there, continue. One there, continue. Get it down. Slam it, slam it. It's important that you trust the fellas you're going to be working alongside. Absolutely. You have to know that they're going to be there for you. Well, I love you fellas. I mean that. I really love you. I love you too, Norman. You too and all. Fill my hands. Right, so when are you going to see him? First thing tomorrow. Don't worry about it, boys. It's going to be sweet. Hey, hey! Woo! Come on! <laughs> oh, yeah. I really love this chip. I'd have known you were going to do it like that. I'd have kicked your ass back on the street. One hundred. Sorry. Do you want a flake in it? I shift a thousand tablets for you in a day. Tablets you can't get shut off, and you say thanks very much. There's a ton. That's about the size of it. I've got to share that out with four other lads. I asked you to do the job, not them. This isn't a job centre, you know. I asked you to do a job, and I'm grateful. And if anything else comes along, I'll let you know. I don't mind you shafting him, but not me. Here's your money. Now, what are you going to do for me? My own fault. Should have seen her come. We do all the work, and he takes the lot. That's bang out of order. What do you want to do, Mark? I don't know what I want to do. The question is, are you prepared to do it with me? You know we are. Fucking right. I'm serious. Let's do it. He's right. Well, it looks like Arthur McCann. Is she standing in his cards? McCann's men were easy. They'd been living off reputations for years. They had girlfriends, wives, families. They didn't want to fight. We took them out and took over the business. See, this is the way it works. McCann sells drugs to the dealers. The dealers sell the drugs in the clubs. The clubs are controlled by the doorman, and the doorman are paid by McCann. If you want to make money, you've got to do it through drugs. If you want to sell drugs, you've got to control the doors. You've got to control the doors to control the doorman. Don't go changing. The doorman are just employees. They don't give a fuck who they work for as long as they're getting paid. And it was us who was paying them now. As for McCann. He was on his way out. We just handed him his coat. What's going on? What's going on? Never mate. You bastard! You bastard! Was this 
fella on our wing, right? There was rumours flying around all over the place that he had eight balls. Are you listening to me? Yeah, yeah, You're yeah. You're not listening I to me? I am listening. Listen to me. Honest to God, there was this fella on our wing, right? He had a sack like a bag of marbles. Honest <laughs> to God, I don't know what was going on, right? A dick like that, like a sack was down here. This fella on the wing that I'm trying to tell you about. Hang on a second. Stop bugging me, right? Go ahead, be quick as well, and shady, go ahead. You got us closed down doing that. What are you on about? Take it easy. Nah, it's naughty, it's bang out of order. Uh, Bottle of water, please. Great to be out with the lads, innit? Is it Joe, all right? <laughs> Come on. Your Joe keeps pointing towards the door. Maybe he wants to go home. Uh, Tell you what, right? You stay here. I'll phone a taxi for your Joe. All right. <laughs> Yeah, lad, we're having a party. You throw that out. Go on. Oh, it looks great. Oh, you look sharp. Come here. Come here. Throw that on your gums. No, leave that because you look stupid otherwise. Right, come here. Right. Any woman on there now you can have. You got your wizard's hat on, right? Uh, <laughs> cast a spell on all the girls on the dance floor. Anyone you want, you can have. <laughs> Get back over there. Don't take the piss out of him, lad. He's with me. Who are you? Do your own work. You'll find out. Do yours. This is our fucking club. All right, Billy, I'll sort this one out. You better fucking add. Can I have a word, Mark? Stay here, Oz. What are you doing? We were dealing with that. That's what we're here for. Well, you weren't dealing with it very well. That was Billy Hennessy. His dad owns this place. I thought you owned it. I'm just the manager. This club, like most other clubs in this town, belongs to George. So why haven't I heard of him? <sighs> Mark, you've taken over a few doors, that's it. You don't own a bricks and mortar. And McCann, he was a no mark. And personally, I didn't like the fag. But George is in another fucking league. So that means you've got to take shit off pricks like him? Yeah, if you don't want to end up with a hole in the head. Make no mistake, Mark. You only run the doors because George lets you. Mark, just keep your head down for a bit. Don't rock the boat. Get that stuff squared away and then you can knock off, all right? Alan, I need that first thing on Monday morning, matter what. What can I do for you? Well, that's more what we can do for you, actually. We represent Serpentine Security. We can look after all your gear for you, you know, make sure... Yeah, I don't need my security. Everybody needs security. I've got my own security. Look, Mr... Busy. Very busy. Look, Mr Busy, I'm sure your boys are very capable, but they're not local lads. So? So, we are. We know all the scallywags, all the thieves. We've got a lot of very expensive equipment here. I can't see starting your nutty over there, putting up much of a struggle if somebody decides to take it all, can you? Now, for a very reasonable fee, we can make sure that you have a good night's kip, safe in the knowledge that Serpentine Security is looking after your gear. And what happens if I don't take you up on your offer? That's your decision. I'm sure you'll be fine. It is a very dodgy area, though, isn't it? I don't know what might happen. <laughs> I'll take my chances, thank you very much. My lads will be all right. Why don't you keep the card, Mr. Busy? You never know when you might need it. Give my regards to Mr. Tickle. Everything all right, Mr. Phillips? Yeah. It's just a couple of tosses trying their hand, that's all. Nothing to worry about. Right, the lad's finished over there. I want this stuff squared away before we finish, all right? And remember, the time waits for no one. Yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery. That's why we call it the present. What the? F Security. Let me talk to Mark. Mr. 
Mr. Busy, how are you? Somebody broke into my yard last night and stole a load of heavy equipment. See, now, if you'd have made better security arrangements... Look, let's not play silly buggers, all right? Just get my equipment back here. The longer it's gone, the more money I lose. Well, I'll make a few calls, see what I can do. What exactly is missing? Two mini dumpers. A digger. Mini dumpers? A JCB. How do you spell that, Mr Phillips? J fucking C fucking B! What do they look like? It's a big yellow thing with a bucket on the front. Right. If we do retrieve your equipment, I take it you'll be signing your security details over to Serpent Time? Just get it back, right? Can they get a one solar now? No. Nope. Mark Clayton, Stacey Bellman. I'd stand up and my pants might fall down. Listen, thanks for getting me off. Don't thank me too much. It's Mr. McCann who dropped the charges. You're a very lucky man, Mr. Clayton. It's not every day that five independent witnesses develop selective amnesia. Yeah, well, whatever. At least you turned up. It's got to be worth a drink. <laughs> um, thanks, but maybe next time. I'm sure we'll meet again. For future reference. If I ever needed an excuse to do something wrong, I should have had that card laminated. Don't need to call you, mate. We'll give you the lift. I'd have died for a place like this when I was a kid. I mean, look at it. Look at the menu. Look at the jukebox. Put a record on, Eddie. You look tired. Yeah, it's been a long day. It would have been a lot longer if I had made a few calls. I won't beat around the bush. McCann was an asshole, but he knew his place. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to make a few quid. I know that. I just want to make a few things clear. Establish the order of play. You're supplying the dealers. Your doormen are taxing them for you. But nothing comes into this city without my say-so. So long as you understand your place in the scheme of things, 
I'm letting you have your building site scams. They don't interest me. Then there's no problem. Good. There's one other thing. What's that? My son, Billy. I know he's not the sharpest tool in the box, but give him a wide berth. He needs to calm down a bit. I'll have a word with him. As long as everyone does as they're told, it'll be plain sailing. then? Why didn't you give us a call? I was too busy getting me wrist slapped. By you? The cock of the school. George Hennessy. <laughs> I hope you slapped him back. Not quite. Why? What did he say? He said we've gone as far as we're gonna go. So get used to it. Cheeky bastard. Well, when are we gonna do him? We're not. What? I just keep filling everybody in who gets in our way. Says who? It's your answer to everything, isn't it? Hit them with a the bat, make them listen. Well, it worked on McCann, didn't it? This isn't McCann. This isn't Ali Bowers. This fella's seen a hundred of us come and go. You said it yourself. These people are there for the taking. It's whether we're prepared to do it or not. Move with the times. We'll get a couple of guns and bounce in there. Fuck the guns. When are you going to start using your head? It's me who has to front these people. It's me they drag into police cells and into lectures with Don Corleone. Well, you're snorting cocaine and shagging 16-year-old birds. And whose fault's that, eh? Did you ask me to go with you? No. I'm kept well out of it. If you'd have been there, we'd have been in the river. Waste iron fucking concrete. You're losing your nerve. No. Just me patience. Go on. Your girlfriend needs a nappy changing. Anywhere with 16 year old birds, that like a line of Charlie. That narrows it down a bit, doesn't it? Come on, Mark, you haven't been out with us for ages. I've got a few things to do here, and then I'll follow you down. but nothing seems to happen. You have to be ruthless. Take no prisoners. What's your name? Natasha. Mark. So who are you with? A, a couple of friends. One of them's just got engaged. What about you? No, I'm still single. <laughs> That's very good. Just checking out the talent, then. What about the blonde? No. She's too... Blonde? <laughs> yeah, you could say that. Well, if you need any more help in choosing, I'll be over there. Oh, that's 
past. I hadn't planned on meeting someone like Natasha. It just sort of sneaked up on me. I loved being around her. She relaxed me, made me laugh. She didn't want anything from me. She had it all already. Wealthy father, respectable family. She just wanted me for who I was. Even if she didn't know what I did. And I didn't want to lose her. So I told her some lies. Where is everyone? Still in bed? No, they've gone out on business. What business? Security. Getting something back. <laughs> so I don't know. It sounded big, though. Nobody gave me a call. Ozzy's on the case. Where did he go? That's the place there. Yeah, I'll raise it to Abby. That's all right. up. It's me fucking horses. Thanks for the tip. Yeah, very funny. Is it in the house? Is it here? I'm not fucking messing now. Where is it? I haven't got it. Where the fuck is it? I don't know. You do fucking know. Oh, Everyone I... saw you take it. I didn't take it. Oh, you're doing me head in now. I'm going to ask you one more time. I haven't got it. Do you want me to fucking shoot you? Hey? Don't be a fucking smart ass. No, Where is it? What's going on? I'm handling this, Mark. You see that picture? Yeah. But well, if you don't start talking, you're gonna fucking look like that. All right, all right. Number 53, two hours is down. Is he? Was he? Where are you going? Says he a cook from Frozen. That? A bouncy castle? Go ahead, lad. I had a tiger on me. Supposed to burst him, not that. Cheeky bastard tried to deny it as well. Caught him with a belted all right on the chin. Yeah. Touch and go there for the minute with that spatula. <laughs> of course, technically speaking, you uh, should take your shoes off before you go on them things. talking about you today. Nothing bad, I hope. No. Quite the opposite. I was singing your praises. Me too. My father. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. I was just keen to meet you. Sound you out. He likes scallywags like you, so don't be surprised if he tries to rope you into a few of his deals. No, I'm still not convinced. Oh, thanks. What's wrong? It's, um, the alarms have gone off the office. And I'm gonna have to sort it. I'll be about five or ten minutes, okay? You order the coffee, and no flame with the waiters. Sorry, Mark. What's wrong? Ozzy's gone berserk. Billy Hannessy was here earlier on. He mouthed an officer and he could do whatever he wanted. Apparently, he threw a glass of champagne over some bird Ozzy was with. Only left the club for five minutes. When I got back, it was going off big time. What does he know? Put him in the office to cool down. I've only just got rid of the police. Like you give a shit. If I didn't give a shit, I wouldn't be here now, would I? If you gave a shit, Mark, you would have been here earlier, instead of with your bed. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, come off it. Nobody sees you anymore. You're never in the club, you're never with the lads. How the fuck would you know, eh? 
When was the last time you showed an incest? If it wasn't for me, this fame would have fallen apart a long time ago. That's right, yours. Your fame. Everything's yours. We were partners, remember? This was my crew. You didn't know any of them. If it wasn't for me, there wouldn't be a fucking fame. You were robbing fruit machines when I caught up with you. You'd still be doing that now. Maybe, but at least we'd be doing something. Meaning what? Meaning you've gone soft. They sent that gobshite Zanasi a bottle of champagne. Couldn't believe it. He's sitting there laughing at us and we're giving him champagne. It's keeping things sweet. Fuck keeping things sweet. We should be caning them. That's how we got here, Mark, remember? Fuck everyone else. If they cross us, we wipe them out. But no, you're out doing deals with them. It's the way it's done. Do you know what? People think I'm stupid. There's Ozzy. He works for Mark Clayton. Not wit for. Not his partner, his fucking lapdog. Yeah, but we know different, don't we? Do we? I don't remember the last time I was given any responsibility. No, I can. We nearly ended up doing security for bouncy castles at us. Well, I'll tell you this. It was me here tonight fighting for the firm, not you. Mark. And George or no George, Billy Hannessy's gonna know what it's like to fuck with me. Hey! All sorted then? Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. So when can I meet your dad? Natasha invited me to her parents' house for her dad's birthday. I really felt she was my future. I didn't care about the rest. This was where I wanted to be. Just me and Natasha. I was fed up with everything. Ozzy, the police, the Hannesies. I've been thinking about it for a while. But this was my chance to do it. Nobody else could get in the way. Nothing was going to get between Natasha and me. Oh. Nothing. You remember Natasha, my daughter? And this is a young man. Some people will call that poetic justice. Yeah, well, fuck some people. I try to do the right thing and end up getting shit on. The right thing? What would you know about the right thing? You're a criminal, Mark. Everything you do is wrong. Everything you've done in your life, you've done because you chose to do it. Nobody forced you, Mark. You're only in this flat now because you killed somebody. No. You make the decisions. No. You gave the orders. You pulled the trigger. Just leave it. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, don't I? Well, come on then, tell me. <laughs> Story of my life. The wrong face at the wrong time. <laughs> Only plans gone on a handshake. Get the rest of the firm out as well. Because I've had a fucking bad night. It's about time somebody else did. Everything became clear. This is what I was. Who was I trying to kid? I was back in the shit. Where I belonged. Oh, Jesus, don't see this one. I'm gonna do it to you, Billy, eh? Why do you keep fucking it out with me? I don't know what you're going on about, please. I don't care about you and your dad anymore. <laughs> As far as I was concerned, the job was done. Billy was lying in a pool of his own piss. Nobody was hurt. Time to go home. <laughs> Some people would call it poetic justice.
There must be something we can do. Tell them it was Ozzy. Problem, look. It's this bloody thing. Look, it won't start, and I've got a job interview this morning. Do you want me to have a look for you? You wouldn't mind. I haven't got a clue about cars. I am not much better myself, but uh, I hate to see a beautiful woman in distress like that. <laughs> well, as long as you let me uh, pay you for the service, yeah? Oh, I'm sure we can arrange something. Mm -hmm. Up in, I'll have a look. Okay. Are you sure you've got enough petrol in it, look? Only sometimes people forget, you know. How about after your interview, you pop back and we'll go and have something to eat? Yeah, that's it. Turn it over now, look. Turn it over now. Mark. I need another favour. What? I need to borrow your car. Borrow it? I need your car. I'll take it. It's your life. Yeah, well, I'll look you up in Marbella, if I ever get out that way. Yeah, you do that. on the roads, dry, bright and sunny all day today. What a perfect day. Makes you feel great to be alive. This, this is Kev Seed in the Morning.